I live in a world of music and machines. I'm enamored of music and computers and how things work. To most people, I'm a bit eccentric. I do what I want the way that I want. And I believe that you should, too. I'm David Peterson Harvey. Welcome to my strange world. Today, I'm making a video to help a producer friend learn to do basic MIDI editing in Ardor. I'm muting my current project and right-clicking the empty track area, selecting the MIDI track option, and attaching a synth plugin. I'm choosing Yoshimi, one of my favorite soft synths. It's a project that branched from Zenad Sub FX. I'll grab the bottom of the track with my mouse and drag it downwards to make it larger and show the piano roll. Double clicking the plugin in the selected track brings up the synth's interface. I'll be choosing an appropriate sound for our demo. Clicking and holding a key on the piano roll lets me hear the sound I've chosen. I click the pencil tool and draw a MIDI clip to hold the notes. By changing to the selection tool, I can use the mouse to drag the clip into position. I can also grab and drag the edges to resize it. Now I can use the pencil tool to add notes. If I click, I get a short note that's too small to resize. I press the delete key to get rid of it. Instead, I'll click and drag a note, then move and resize it with the pencil tool. Then I'll add a second note. To change the note range displayed, I grab the middle of the selector on the piano roll. I can also grab the edges to resize it. If I right-click a note, I can view and change its MIDI parameters. Using the plus equals and the dash minus keys at the top of my keyboard, I can expand or contract my view. Now I can see the whole clip to resize it. I can hold down the control key and drag the clip to copy it.
I can resize the two clips independently. I can drag a node in the new clip to change it. When I do, the original clip changes to match it. That's because the two clips are linked. I right-click the clip and fumble through some options trying to remember where to unlink the clips. This video is not rehearsed. I finally find the option and unlink the clips. Now they work independently. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, hated it, or were simply bored to tears, please like and subscribe. I'll post new content as I have time. Please feel free to tip your host, either with loose change or with your informative opinion in the comments. Keep it strange, and hopefully I'll see you again real soon.